so before we do get into the next games the predictions let's just touch on some big breaking news going on in calf let's talk about it the egyptian national team egypt national team solution lies in el badri's dismissal so el badri the national team coach has been dismissed him and his entire team has been dismissed and we're going to take a look at king foot here this article from king foot and top liverpool echo says mohammed salah joins egypt on international duty as liverpool stands confirmed so i didn't even know that mo salah went on duty for egypt but i saw him there playing in the last game against gabon and i was shocked i'm telling you electricity went through my body i was like god damn salah i thought you were in england anyways let's go let us go and the reason why he played the gabon game is because gabon are not on the red list for the uk or you could say the uk's red list so let's take a look at this article and big up to kingfoot.com don't really from i'm not really familiar with the site but i think i should actually maybe favorite this site let me add this to my bookmark right there this would be a good site to check out african news and hit you guys with some updates the people who love african football so the article reads Mido, it, Egypt national team's solution lies in El Badri's dismissal. Following the poor performance of the national team, Egypt legend, legend Ahmed Hossam Mido weighed in his opinion on the reason behind it. The Pharaohs had a hard time during the clash with Gabon in FIFA World Cup qualifiers as they were on the defensive side for the majority of the time. Hossam El Badri's men got in even more trouble as Amir Gabar was sent Omar Gaber oh, I said that wrong Omar Gaber was sent off with a second yellow card in the 70th minute despite Gabon scoring a couple of minutes after the send-off Egypt successfully snatched a valuable point as substitute Mustafa Mohammed equalized with a last minute header all right so after the draw, Egypt former star Ahmed Hossam Omido addressed the poor performance of the national team during his radio program, Allah Sabah. Mido said, changes in the lineup are a normal thing to do, especially with the pressured schedule. But El Badri made grave mistakes during the Gabon game. Everybody is sad to see the current national team performance. There has to be a solution. In my opinion, El Badri's dismissal is the quickest solution and Vingada taking over would be a complete failure. Ooh. Ooh. So you see the Egypt national team there. And just to finish off the article, Ehab Galal can be a good addition to the national team. He has an impressive technical view. Hossam Hassan can also be a good substitute for El Badri as he can motivate the players and raise the overall spirit there are issues between mustafa mohammed and hosam el badri mustafa was sad not to start the gabon game however there should be an investigation with the player following what he did in the match so listen i didn't actually i wasn't aware of what went on between mustafa mohammed and hosam el badri so maybe we should look that up and find out what happened but the egyptian coach has been dismissed let's just take a look to see if there's any new development in terms of who's in charge who is in charge man anything in charge it even says egypt coach hosam el badri happy following the gabon draw well you should not have been happy man you got sacked you got sacked so look Egypt sack team coach Hassam Hossam El Badri. Let's just click on this one really quick. The former Ali coach said that he is satisfied with the results given the tough circumstances. Let me bring that bigger. The team had gone through as the players were exhausted following a long season and were not sufficiently prepared. And that's Hossam El Badri right there pictured. 
The Egyptian Football Association announced the second of national team coach Hossam El Badri on Monday, a day after the Pharaohs were held to a 1 1 draw by Gabon in the World Cup qualifiers. Following a meeting with El Badri to assess the previous period, the EFA decided to terminate his contract and name a new coaching staff in the next 48 hours, according to a statement by the Egyptian FA. Local reports claim that the Egyptian FA's technical director could be named interim coach to lead the team through the rest of World Cup qualifiers until the appointment of a new coach. The Pharaohs are currently at the top of Group F with four points after beating Angola 1-0 at home last week and a last gas draw against Gabon on their turf. However, El Badri came under fire for the team's tame display and lack of inspiration. The former Ali coach said that he is satisfied with the results given the tough circumstances the team had gone through as the players were exhausted following a long season and were not sufficiently prepared. On paper, El Badri had an unbeaten record of nine games at the helm of the Pharaohs, winning five and drawing in four. Under his leadership, the team also qualified for the com coming African Cup of Nations. However, his dismissal was bound to happen eventually given his unpopular tactics. The 61-year-old tactician was appointed in September 2019 to succeed Javier Aguirre who was sacked after a shocking exit of Egypt from the round of 16 via the hands of South Africa, by the way, in the 2019 AFCON on home soil. So that's the article. That's a lot of info for you guys. And uh, I actually thought that I had that on screen, you know. I actually, I dead thought I had that on screen, that I was reading this thing and I had it on screen. But apparently... I didn't <laughs> so <laughs> so this is what I was actually reading from I'm here reading and I'm thinking damn the thing is on the screen like dumb you're doing a great job reading this kudos to you you're showing your reading skills are on point but I wasn't actually reading from this <laughs> you guys didn't see what I was reading you guys saw something else so look Egypt, what are your thoughts, guys? What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on this? What are your thoughts on this one? I think this is very, very harsh. This is harsh. It's very harsh to sack a man who has an unbeaten record just because you don't agree with his tactics. It's too defensive. He's too pragmatic. He hasn't lost any games. The man said he has to deal with the schedule, the pandemic, not having Salah for the first game, still winning. What do you want? A swashbuckling 4 0 victory every game? Like, come on. This could be a big mistake made by Egypt. This could be a huge mistake. It could be a huge mistake made by Egypt. I don't have Egypt qualifying for the World Cup. And this could be the catalyst of that not happening. You understand what I'm saying? So that's my thoughts on this. I rest my case. Guys, we have to move on.